Hey guys, Derek here with The Closet Doctor, and it's that time of year for the big woodworking show in Atlanta, IWF, next week, uh, August 6th through the 9th. Uh, first off, I'm going to be there. If you want to meet me, come on by. I will be all week. I will be at the SNX Technologies booth. I have a piece of equipment that I'll be showcasing there, but uh, come by and say hi. I'll, I'll be there every day. That is booth B5547, SNX Technologies booth. So come by, say hi, nice to meet you. And uh, I'll, if you'd like, I'll show you what I've got. And if not, but... So here is my point of this video today. And this video is to talk about, uh, to focus on the right things when we're at that show. And I'm gonna tell you a little story that uh, that explains that or, or to, to bring that home. but. Sometimes we get focused on all of the really cool stuff and we skip the mundane stuff that can really actually help our production and productivity. Uh, so the story is, so as many of you may know, uh, three years ago, about three and a half years ago, we had a fire next door to our shop, got smoke damage, and I needed to buy a new CNC. And so I called uh, a couple of uh, machinery equipment dealers and I said, in a machine right now, uh, what do you got? And I ended up with an Anderson because I talked to them on Friday and I think they shipped uh, the following Monday. Like we had a sales call on Monday. I bought it, got it, and uh, fastest, probably the fastest sale that they have ever made on a machine. And I ran it the following, it wasn't quite the machine that I wanted, but it was in stock and they could ship it. So uh, I like the machine and I'm at the woodworking show in Las Vegas three years ago and I'm putting a deal together on this machine. Uh, it's, everything that I wanted and I'm happy with it. And a guy came into the booth while I was there talking and he's like, hey, uh, you know, what was your decision? And I'm like, my decision was it was in stock. I would have bought literally anything that somebody had that had a router on it and a drill block. And they happened to be the guys that we talked to. And he was just blown away, like the blood ran out of his face. He's like, well, I spent a year researching every machine on the market and he literally pulled out a spreadsheet. He had a hundred categories. He looked at the type of rails that it used, the uh, the weight of the machine, the horsepower of the motor. And he told me that he determined that on all of those factors, this machine rated the highest. And he made the, his final decision that he made it for was because the X travel speed was faster than the second place machine. Uh, and I'm like, oh, cool. And I said, and I wasn't, trying to start it in there or anything like that to be I just say oh cool and did you get it with a material handling because I'm a big fan of material handling the ability to push off parts off of the CNC onto the conveyor belt so the CNC can keep working and this is the point of my story he said ah nah I'm gonna save the ten thousand dollars and I'm just gonna unload it by hand and so that's my point of this is when you go to the show make sure that you're focused just because something is faster doesn't mean it's the most efficient way to do it. And so with a CNC, when you have the conveyor belt, you can push off, put another sheet on, 30 seconds to a minute later, you're running parts. Where if you're unloading it by hand, you're gonna be five to 10 minutes that that machine is not active. And you, you have to manually load, unload those parts to start another sheet. And so he made his decision on how fast it was over here. And in the grand scheme of things, the CNC is probably of your value added within the shop is just a few percent of all of the stuff that you do. And so a few percent increase of a few percent, I'm not real good at math, ain't many percent. Had he looked at something like, you know, spent the extra 10 grand or whatever it is to have offload capabilities, he could have doubled the output of the machine, gone with a lesser machine and more than doubled his output um, with offload conveyors. So, don't get, don't focus just on the shiny stuff. Look at things like, hey, can I put a lift cable in my shop? Uh, can I put a return conveyor on my edge bander? Uh, assembly table, options like that. Uh, things like, hey, how do I drill hardware? I know we can get a good machine for that. Uh, things like that, that's, they're not sexy. Carts are not sexy, but material handling and, and processes and software that help your business run smoother uh, are much, much more powerful than saving a couple of seconds on a CNC and, and looking at that. So come by, like I said, I'll be at booth B5547, E5547, E5547. Come by and say hi. Uh, glad to meet you and talk with you uh, as we can and enjoy the show. And if you got any questions, uh, hit it in the comments and I'll answer back.
Have a good one.